Welcome everybody. This is Night Sky 489. Today we are going to be doing a tour of the server Burrito Hill. I'm going to be going over all the builds in detail of what's been made on here. I'm going to try and make sure I hit everything and uh, give some explanations about all the stuff that's been built. And uh, yeah, this video might end up being like an hour or two long, but um, we're going to be doing it and hopefully I'll be leaving timestamps on each area, but we'll see if I'm, uh, we'll see if I'm not too lazy to do that. So let's see here. First of all, that is the mall behind us, but I guess we'll get to that a little later. Where we're at right now, this is the very spot you spawn in. Let me clear out my inventory there. This is where you spawn in when you first come into Burrito Hill. So we got some signs here. Welcome to Burrito Hill. Everything is built in survival. Please join the Discord if you haven't yet. And there's our Discord link. So this area right here, we have a couple main builders uh, for this server. There's like five or six people who have done 90% of the work. And then we have like another 20 people who have come and gone, just built a little bit of stuff and just left. You know, they're not core builders or anything. So uh, I'll be rattling off a couple names as we go through these builds. They'll start to sound familiar after a while because really it's only been like five or six people who have done most of the stuff on this. Um, so first of all, this is our spawn road area right here. This was built by Galapagos Tiger. And uh, it looks pretty nice. The trees over here I built. Night Sky 483 is my survival account that I play on here. And right now I'm on the admin account. Uh, we're live on the server and I'm just using the admin to be able to fly around in creative. So it doesn't take me an eternity to get to everything. So um, you spawn right in. And uh, these trees came much later after the original um, spawn road that... Galapagos built here it just helps pretty things up and in fact this mansion at the end I also recently built right before 1.18 came out and the really the only reason I built it was when you first spawn into the world uh, it gives you something prettier to look at uh, more impressive you know first impressions or everything I've harped on that a little bit um, we'll take you inside now this build I uh, was a schematic build I had done a long time ago I actually built this building in like 2014 on an old creative world and it looked decent enough for me to schematic over and build in survival onto this world so uh yeah so obviously for me this place holds a lot of memories because um i've had this for a while so basically there's just a lot of random stuff in here and it has several floors it goes up and it's pretty it's pretty nice it looks very good i think and you can come up here to the top, and then you're really at the top. Now, you're wondering why bookshelves are all the way up there. That's only because, from a distance, um, if you're looking at it far away, um, before those bookshelves were up there, you could just see straight through to the other side of the sky, and it just didn't look good to me, and I wanted to put some decoration on that top window, so I added bookshelves. So this is kind of our unofficial welcome center of the server. You come down this road and then you end up right here. Now we got a sign here. Loggerton City, which is our main capital, is that way to the right. And then Planet Over Production Headquarters is to the left. So we'll go check that out first. We'll see some of the lesser stuff before we get to the big stuff. Now this was a uh, modern company building built by TikTok One. He is another one of the core members on here. And uh, he never got around to fully finishing it, uh, but what he had done, it looks really good. This is the inside area here, and this is like the lobby. He has a nice aquarium set up right here. And uh, I could have swore there used to be fish in here, and somehow they're gone. And that could have been for a variety of reasons, but we won't get into that. Oh, this used to not be like this. What is this? Okay, this is all the uh, internals and redstone devices for his bee, his honey farm here. And I, I couldn't even tell you if this is still even working properly anymore. Um... I don't even know what all these... Oh, well, you put something in these chests and they go down into that. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. I don't know how this honey farm works. Um, but yeah, he has that here. 
and that's pretty cool and then uh, he just has some displays here those are obviously supposed to be bees in there and then he has um this is supposed to be something and uh then he's got something else that's supposed to be something and then you know you can come up and talk to a receptionist and uh, file your complaint about why this place is in shambles now no i'm just kidding it looks really nice and he's just got a couple back rooms that really don't go anywhere uh, but what's cool is if you take this staircase up here you get up to this upper hallway and this would have been really nice um i'm sure he would eventually turn this like uh closed in area into like a pretty plaza of some sort maybe an outside thing and that would have stretched into the other half of the building which never got complete but i'll tell you what what he did do looks really nice it's very modern i love the concrete i love the earthy colors he used and the um smooth stone here for the walls just all looks really really nice this is a nice little area okay now speaking of uh planet over production that was the company that tiktok one was coming up with for this whole theme that he was doing for a little while this was the headquarters building but he actually was working on a planet over production city uh, which we don't have a road linking to it but if you just walk a little ways over here and you cross over this river uh, you'll come over here to some of the buildings he had for it and uh, these aren't just for show these have actual farms inside them don't get it twisted um, in here he had, let's see what this was. This was cactus. Uh, this whole thing is a cactus farm, which is really, really cool. And then that, he has a piping system here. Look at that. Kind of reminds you of Factorio a little bit. And uh, the items would flow through and come through. And at first, when I'll be honest, when I first saw this, I thought this was just like a aesthetic statement. I didn't actually know this was all functional, which just makes it more impressive to me. Um, and then you take this up and uh, it goes up into here and uh, this is did this actually get turned into a farm yet no I guess not maybe this was gonna be a super smelter of some sort what's in these he doesn't even have oh well there's some of the cactus um, let me make sure I'm just still filming because if I have not been filming at all yet I'm gonna freak out and I'm just a little OCD about that yes I'm filming I'm eight minutes into the film almost so far okay back to it um so this this is still hollow which I didn't know I, I could have swore there was something in here but I'll tell you what these buildings look very very nice they're very aesthetically pleasing the concrete goes really well with these he did such a great job making these uh, this is one that also didn't get finished all the way. Um, this is, if I'm correct, a seaweed farm. Yes, he's got seaweed growing with the uh, detectors that use the pistons to break them. And he had quite a few. He had stacked them up really nicely. And uh, he was going to finish the uh, walls, the, out, the outer casing, which I love the design on this too. TikTok one never fails to disappoint on his designs. So, um, this was going to be his main city hub area, um, but he moved on to some other stuff, which is something I do all the time, and I wasn't sure what this was supposed to be. This looks like it was going to be a monument to him, because it's like, it's blocked out like it's a, uh, it's carved out like it's going to be a Minecraft player avatar, and I could have seen him putting his face on that, and it was going to be a shrine, I think. And then, um, over yonder, over here, he had, which was a automatic sheep farm. You know, he put the um, he put the shears in the dispensers, and uh, there aren't sheep in here anymore. I don't know what. Oh nope, there are sheep. There's just not a ton. He does have some sheep in here, and they're all shorn, as you can see. Is that a word shorn? Is that the uh, past tense of shear? Sheared, shorn. Well, he's got some sheep right here too. He's got a couple shulkers here. It's just some stuff building supplies for it. Um, so yeah, this is this section right here. And you know what? I'm going to be honest with you. I really don't have a planned order on how I'm going to go to all these builds. I guess I'm just going to bounce around to whatever's closest and then work with that next. So we just happen to end up doing this place first. So um, let's see here. I guess over here yonder is a base that was a player that used to play on here and no longer does. 
um, and I won't get into the specifics about that. But uh, when he was here, he he did some pretty cool builds. This this was a this was a cute little base for sure. Uh, he had a wheat farm here. He had a couple docks, and he had a road coming through here. Um, a couple things in this chest. I don't know why that's there. The real gem of this base, though, is definitely the center dome here. And uh, as you can see, it kind of reminds me of a Pokeball with this red going around it. And then it's a couple floors. And he has a nice kitchen right here. I always liked his little kitchen. This was always very cool. He has some elevators, some water-based elevators here to get up and down. And uh, down here was his mine that goes all the way down. And uh, this is a storage room, I'm guessing, with another elevator and a little lookout area to see the ocean. He 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 did a lot on here. You know, it wasn't a bad base. Uh, when he was on here, um, he did pretty good when he uh, really was into building and playing on here. And this was a nice base. And he's no longer uh, playing on here anymore, though. But that's all right. People come and go. Uh, but yeah, this was... I love the glass dome. We love seeing him make this. And then, of course, over here, he's got uh, some animal husbandry here. He's got some cows, some pigs, and some uh, wooden roads. See, that's not very common. I don't see a lot of wooden roads. You see a lot of stone or dirt. But he did wood. And he did uh, dark oak because, obviously, his whole base is in a dark oak forest. Here's his potato farm. That looked really cool. And uh, this over here was actually the first stuff he built when he first got on and came over here. He made this area. He, he made this tree house right here. Um, and it's cute. It's nice. And he has a little fireplace there. And uh, Fargo Deep Mine. And now that's a World of Warcraft reference. Some of you will get that. Some if you've never played. Oh well. But um, that goes down to another mine. So kind of had this whole Elwyn Forest vibe I guess. It was really nice. I like what he did. And uh, that's really all he ended up ever doing was just this little base right here. But it was pretty nice. So um, I think that is everything that's over in this quadrant. I mean, we have an end portal further down that way. But I'm going to get to that later because we have a nether highway linking system. And that's going to be down later on down the video. I'm going to stick to just the local overworld area first before I move on to that other stuff. So, um, I could go to Loggerton next, but I'm just going to hang around the outskirts of it and just pick up all the smaller stuff that's in the area before we get to that. So, uh, Loggerton's our center capital for the server, and uh, we'll get to that in a bit. Right now, this area right here, you can see a ton of sand was stripped. This was for an end base I started that I never finished, but I ended up taking a ton of sand out of there. You can see that huge missing chunk of sand. I needed a lot of glass. Over yonder here is, sometimes I gotta go into spectator to speed myself up, get moving, get moving, get moving. Where is the sand castle? Here it is. This is the sand throne. This was a build done by uh, TikTok1, and uh, he made it for another builder who used to play on here, but it was a throne, as you can see. And uh, what's funny about this thing is you see how, like, perfect the, um, architecture is this was actually a one by one uh, block and he actually scaled this up to a three ratio so every block is um, well essentially nine blocks but like he increased the size three times and it looks really nice it looks really good and it's a it's a throne it's a sand throne so that's pretty cool and that's about as further back here as you can get I guess we'll head on in a little bit and get to the other stuff that's around here let's see we got I got a couple things in mind but it's just gonna take me a second to get back over to them I keep forgetting that uh that's that was a little ways out oh yeah we'll get to that in a second I'm not gonna hit all that yet that was the Coliseum we'll get to that in a bit we'll do this area next now you can see here we got um walls that are covering this whole area uh, this was going to be a potential city or base for a player called uh, Link K25 and he doesn't really play on here that much. He started a bit and they got out of it. He always used to play with another player called Sully and um, they ended up doing some stuff underground like uh, here is Sully's house 
And what's nice is she took this island and turned it into a heart. And, you know, it's lined with um, sugar cane. And she ended up making a, uh, a little a map here. And you can see the heart in the center. And, uh, and then up there at the top, you can see that she made a kitty island, which is right over here. See, it's a cat face. It's pretty cool, huh? Now, if you go into your, her house and you go underground, she ended up making this huge underground uh, base down here. And you know what was funny is, look, you can see there's deep slate here. Now, this space was made before 1.18, so it used to be bedrock. And she just built all the way down at Y0 almost, or this is would actually be Y5. But she had to end up clearing out a lot of lava pools, which suck. But she, um, her and Link K25 made it work. It's a nice little base. They put up a ton of pictures here. And they have a huge rail system that goes all the way to the spawn area. And uh, if you come in here... Let me go back into creative mode so I'm not clipping through stuff too crazy. Uh, we got some cows here. That is uh, a lot of cows packed in tightly together. Uh, there's some more cows. Got some wheat here to feed them uh, to get, you know, leather and meat and possibly XP. And this was, this was, um, I don't know what this was, but that was something. Farm of some sort. And this goes, that's another cow farm. Boy, they got cow farms everywhere. And um, that's how you operated it. I'm not even going to try and mess with what this does because I don't know how any of it works. That goes to uh, lava. That's the trash can, I'm assuming. What's cool is they had this giant sheep um, closure in here. And it's funny because they made the ceiling look like the sky with the blue and the white, like the clouds. See, that's kind of cute. You know, makes the sheep feel like, uh, you know, not give them cabin fever. Make them feel like they're outside when they're really not. And then this, uh, I don't think this really goes anywhere. It goes somewhere. And I'm not going to take the time to figure out what that goes to because I can guarantee you it's not something too impressive. Same with that. They made these branching paths that just go into all these random directions. I think they wanted to create a subway system. But they uh, they never really got around to doing it right. So, um, where does that go? See, that's just another thing. They got these paths going in all these different directions. So, uh, let's go ahead and clip ourselves back up to the top. And we will continue the tour. So, that was really the, I guess you could say, main base of what Link K25 and Sully did together while they played on here. That's really the gist of their work. Uh, as far as I know, they do have a wheat farm right here. But then again, everyone has a wheat farm. Okay, now I think it's time to go over to one of the more impressive looking builds. And that would be the Gray Star Mall. This was a build I did, Night Sky 483. And um, you're going to start to notice a theme that all my builds, all uh, I almost schematic everything at this point now. And I don't mean I schematica where I go online and take someone else's build and copy it over. These are all my own original builds. I just love building them in creative first. Uh, because if I mess up, I can easily replace blocks. I can fly around. I can look at it as I'm building it from far away to see if it looks good. And then what I do is when I'm done, I'll copy the schematic over, put it in here, and then I will survival build it, like manually build it in survival. So... Uh, that's what I did with this. This was actually an older build I had in a creative world that I cleaned up a little bit and then brought on over here. So we'll go inside and we'll check it out. This is a mall. And uh, it's not built like a traditional mall, uh, you know, with the three or four anchors and then you have the hallways and stuff. But uh, it, it's still pretty nice. And it did take me a while to build. I had to use a considerable amount of materials to build this thing. We got flags up here just like a mall would have, just hanging down flags. This ended up being like a food court area when you first come in because I set up all these tables and chairs. And then a couple different members of the server ended up building some of the restaurants in here. There's not as much here as I would have liked to see, but you know what we got is pretty nice. This is a, a Starbucks, but she renamed it to Starblocks. This was built by KD Neek. And um, she has a little area back here that says employees only. And that's just got some storage. Oh, cookies. I didn't know she had cook pumpkin pie. I didn't know she put that stuff in there. 
That was the first time I checked that. But this looks really nice. It's a Starbucks. That's pretty cool. Um, over here, this was a subway, and this was built by uh, Night Hunter and his associates, and that's all I'm going to refer to them as because um, we have a member on here named Night Hunter, and he has like six or seven uh, people who are associated with him that play on here, and so I'm just going to really refer to them as the associates. So, um, and I'm going to be vague like that. Anyways, this is a really nice looking subway and it's funny how they use these different blocks to convey different types of food. They were really creative like that. Like that just looks like a thing of cheese. That looks like a giant thing of mayonnaise. That's lettuce, ketchup. <laughs> Obviously you wouldn't have that much condiment in a giant thing like that, but it's funny to think. I'm, I'm thinking that's meat, probably hamburger or something. And then that's, uh, oh, what is orange that goes on sandwiches? I don't know. And then more, more stuff. Anyways, it looks really nice, and they got the floor nice, and they did a good job with that, and they got the back area there. They did a really good job. They even did the brick walls just like most subways do. I guess that's just a theme they all follow. Now, I was really sad to hear that most of the people who play on the server did not know what Sabaro Pizza was, which is so sad. I grew up on mall pizza called Sabaro Pizza, and there's still a few of them in the malls today, but they have died down a lot. They were way more popular, like, in 2004. You know, that's showing my age a little bit, but um, these were really, really awesome. And uh, I built, this was mine, I built a Sabaro Pizza. I never did finish the roof, because so, you can see all the ugly... Uh, outer interior there but they also use brick walls i kind of got their theme down a bit they got their pizza cooks right here and uh then there's the counter and everything i made a sabaro pizza so i know some of you know what that is which i hope hope i'm not alone in that anymore we had a whole bunch of other slots here too uh, for people to build other restaurants if they ever want to. And you know what? You're going to see a lot of these random blocks everywhere, like grass blocks that shouldn't be there. Those are from Endermen. We've had the server running for over two years now, and some of these chunks have been loaded for so long that Endermen here are always just placing blocks everywhere. It's just this, that's, that's what ends up happening. Now, if you come down further into the mall here, you get to the main shopping area. And uh, I made a cute little logo here. This is called the Gray Star Mall. So I did like a gray star. That's kind of the whole theme. This right here is a very, very good job of an Old Navy built by Night Hunters Associates. And they made an Old Navy here. Uh, they got some stuff here, some merchandise. And this was going to be for all the clothes. I feel like they meant to put like leather gear on these just to make it look like they were actual clothes. And uh, they never got around to it, but that's all right. They have a higher up area here, and then I'm assuming that this was a dressing room. Oh, this is a bathroom. This is definitely a bathroom, not a dressing room. That's nice. Or it could be a dressing room because they do have stands there, so you never know. And then if you go upstairs here, this goes into the uh, kids section, the kids zone. At least I thought that's what that was called. I thought they had a sign here that said that, but I don't see it anymore. Maybe that was all in my head. I don't know. Maybe this was the kids zone, shoe zone. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't get it. And then over here, they got a target. And you know, they did a really good job trying to spell out target with the very limited space they had to, uh, you know, put words up. But they made it look really nice. And I love this Target. They did such a good job doing this. And they and they did pretty much all the aspects of Target. You know, you got your food. because You got your food area. Because all Targets have a grocery store part. And then over here they also have... Uh, there's the checkouts. They have a clothing section, of course. They also did the pharmacy. Of course, every Target has a pharmacy. And then they had, like, just other stuff that you buy at Target, too. You know, Target's just like a m higher quality version of Walmart, if we're being honest here. And they did a really good job making this. For what little space they had, they did a great job. It looks very nice. It's a very nice Target. They did great. Now, this mall really hasn't gotten to its full potential. As you can see, there's a ton of empty space here. I really want to... At some point, set up some stuff in this area and set up some stuff over here. 
and uh, you know fill this mall in a little more, make it look a little more lively. But well, we just never really got around to f doing everything. And you're gonna find there's a lot of stuff we've built that we just haven't gotten around to finish. This right here is going to be a GameStop, but this didn't get finished. This was built by another one of Night Haunter's associates, uh, but they did get the floor down, just like GameStop used to have their carpets like this, and these were going to be video games, and it was going to have discs up here and and all that. And, uh, yeah, uh, we'll finish up here. This is a grand staircase I made, and, you know, you can see the chandeliers here. If you go up this, this goes up to a meeting center. Uh, this was going to be a community center, and obviously I have a ton of more room here. I could put stuff up here. This is a very big building with not a lot in it. We just never got around to doing the full interior. Hell, I didn't even finish this thing right here. This was going to have gold blocks going all the way around, and then red carpet in the center, and I was going to hang some like relics up on here or something, but never really got around to doing all that. So we got our tables and chairs and stuff, and then you have a nice little sky roof here, which looks really nice. You got some lanterns and stuff. And uh, we'll head upstairs now, up to the top. And this is a upstairs ceiling garden and walking track. So this is really cool. Now this garden was done by KD Neek, and she did a really nice job doing it. She always does with all the flowers and different vegetation. The trees look great. Uh, she added bushes and uh, other nice things that every garden would need. And she even added park benches, and uh, it looks really nice. And then this section right here is the actual walking track I made. This does a full rotation, and you can get out of it any time uh, on either side by coming through here. Well, this is nice. This goes all the way around, and then uh, you can go back downstairs. So that's the whole mall. Now I'm sure you've noticed it hasn't become nighttime yet. The server does go night, but just for this video, I disabled the uh, uh, the daylight cycle and the weather cycle, so we don't have any interference and things are looking dark and things aren't coming out nice as I'm trying to film. But I'll turn that back on once I'm done with this video, because I am live on the server right now. Um, this isn't a world download. So uh, let's move on. Let's move on. We still got a lot to cover. We've only done such such a small fraction of what's on the server. I'm just going to try and timestamp everything the best I can as I'm doing this. So this is the mall, Graystar Mall. Uh, and this, you know, it's funny. Whenever I do my builds, I always like, if I get really inspired to build, I will like crunch out a giant build within a week. And I did this whole thing in like four days. And then after that, I go a really long time without building anything. That's just how I roll. It's just always how I've been. So let's head on out. If you go out these front doors here, we are back at Spawn. Look at that. And there's the trees, and here's the road, and there's the Welcome Center right there. But now, instead of going left like we did before, we are going to go right and see the rest of the stuff. So let's head on out. We still have so much to cover. Now, when we first made this server in... Hmm, it was February of 2020. The very, very first thing we built was this hole right here that goes down into the ground it was day one night one and i dug right down here and i put in some furnaces and some chests and this was the very first thing we did and from here it's expanded so if you go all the way down there that goes down to the diamond mine back when uh back you know before 1.18 when you could uh, get diamonds down you know pretty easy at like y11 and you could just branch mine and get everything you needed before Galapagos had made his villager breeder, the way he got mending books was to AFK fish using this fishing farm, and every once in a while he'd get a mending book. Uh, this does not work right anymore. They updated it so you can no longer get all the treasure loot from such a small block of water like this anymore, which sucks, but you know it is what it is. And he still has a ton of the loot in these whole bunch of stuff some other extra enchanting books and uh yeah this is what he used um and i remember i bought my first mending book from him for a ridiculous price of like four double chests of oak logs which is insane but i really wanted a mending book and i really didn't know how to do a villager farm yet so 
and uh, he used to have a sign that said Fisherman's Loot don't touch but obviously it doesn't really matter anymore yeah there is his god fishing rod right there the god rod so that's pretty cool um, he's got that and E that's very good and uh, that goes down to the diamond mine we have a little sugar cane farm here and you know we just got a couple random chests bitch prison uh, that was the name of his dog, but he does not live here anymore, so we're going to go find him in a little bit. I know where he is, and this was our enchanting room, and uh, the actual enchantment table has left to go to the museum because it was the server's very first one, and that's in the museum. And yes, we have a museum. We're going to get to all that later on. We There's so much stuff to cover. That's not Bitch, by the way. That's a different dog. I don't know who that is, whose dog that is. Um, this was but this was the very first thing. This area right here was our first area that we worked on. Um, this is our very center nether portal right here. And it's decorated nice. This was TikTok One's first house. And he used this all the way up until 1.18. This was his center house. And let's go inside and check it out. And here you go. Here are some of the map arts we made. We have currently four map arts on the server. I am two of the four. Uh, this one right here was done by TikTok One. This was done by me. This was done by Night Hunter and his associates. And the Miss Magius was also done by me. So, yeah, they look pretty nice. I hope to. I hope some of the members build new ones later on. But you know, we'll see. We actually have a special place for map arts that we'll get to later on. But this is TikTok One's uh, main house that he used before 1.18. Huge cooking area here. Blast furnace. This is what he used to cook bricks, I believe. And then he's got some smokers with some food in it. He he had everything in here. He needed stone cutter, blacksmith table, anvil, you know, ender chest, the whole the whole nine yards. And uh, then he had a whole bunch of his storage in here, and he still got a lot of shulkers full of stuff. So that's pretty cool. Valuables, no touch. While I'm touching, what do you think about that? Well, these aren't too valuable. The obsidian is, that's a lot of lapis, so I guess some of it's valuable. Oh, and look at, oh, look at all those firework rockets. Yeah, he's got a lot of stuff in here. That's pretty nice. If you go upstairs a little higher, he's got some cakes, and he's got some armor, and he's got some tools, and these are all full of stone. And I actually ended up purchasing a lot of these for some of the stuff I did from him when I was building a massive road. That that's something we're going to get to later as well. Lots of stuff to get to. Let's move on. So this was uh, TikTok One's house. Now let's move on out here. Uh, don't worry, I'm going to address everything. Don't worry about it. Um, this right here is a Starmie avatar icon uh, from Pokemon, and Starmie is one of my favorite Pokemon. I really like them, and and they were also very competitive in Gen One, but I never played the earlier games. So I made that just to help make this place prettier. This is another bee farm. It's a beautiful, tr it's a beautiful dome of lots of different flowers and vegetation in here. It's a very nice glass dome they made. Got lots of flowers, lots of trees, and uh, got smokers and everything, or campfires for the, you know, make the bees passive. I really don't know how the bees work. I never got into that, but that's really cool. Did a good job making that. And uh, this was a cow farm that almost has no cows in it anymore. That was part of TikTok One's house. Uh, so down here is a mine entrance that really goes nowhere. I just built this long staircase going down and then didn't do anything afterwards. It was really just for fun I made this. There's nothing down there. Uh, this, now, we're getting into a section of someone's base who no longer plays on here. When they did, though, their username was Gnomish Cutie, but they are no longer playing right now. They may one day come back, but maybe not. And, uh, she made a little nice house here. It's very, very homey. It's very well decorated. She had a hot tub in here. And uh, some stuff there. And this goes down into... Uh, this is a bedroom, which looks really nice. Um, let's see. This goes up into more areas. Danger, mining area. So that goes down to her mine. This goes sand storage sand 
Not meant for sand. No sand. You know, it's funny. It's just this running joke that they called everything sand when it wasn't sand. And then uh, when they said it wasn't sand, uh, it was sand. So uh, there's irony for you. And uh, that just goes back out, back outside there. And then um, I think that was everything in the house here that she had. Nice house. Very nice and homey. Very well made and well decorated. She had a sheep and chicken farm on the roof. But then if you took this bridge over here, this went into a back section of her base. And back here she had a couple extra houses. Pumpkin, sugar cane. Uh, that is her enchanting room right there. Opening soon. This was, this might have been a bookshop or something. I don't know. But she has her enchantment table in here. And this looks really nice. I don't think I've ever actually been in here before. She also has a storage. Nope. That just goes to the ceiling. Alright. And then she has some bamboo stalks there. And she has another house here. This is just a lookout house. With a couple decorations inside. Furniture. Lots of nice spruce trees. Um, she made another little house right here. That's just a cute little thing. And then uh, this never got finished. She quit playing at this point. She never did finish this house. And that's, that's her whole base. And her base was extremely close to spawn. It was like just right there. She did not branch out at all to go work on her base. And it's not very big. But what she did make looks really, really nice. Now, let's see, what is next? What is next? This is a community wheat farm. This was also one of the very, very first things that, well, it's actually the first thing I built on the server was this community wheat farm, and it's just a two-leveled wheat farm. Nothing impressive there. Uh, this is a cactus farm that TikTok1 built. And, um, yeah, this is the whole spawn area. I'll get to that in... I guess I'll do the end next. This end was built by Night Hunter and his associates. And they did a tremendous job on this. And you know what's great is the whole thing is interiorized. It looks really, really nice. And you know, they just got the basic stuff here. Got the sheep, got the farms. Uh, got a place for horses and hay and all that. And if you come inside the house, they fully interiorized it and decorated it. It looks really nice. You got a fireplace here, a carpet. Kitchen area. This actually, this lower half looks actually more like a tavern. In fact, I think this is an inn, I'm pretty sure, actually. So, yeah, there you go. You come upstairs, and I think this goes to some bedrooms, but they did a great job on this house. Uh, there's some sleeping quarters right here, and this might just be an upper living room area. Another fireplace right there. And this goes, oh, this goes outside to a bridge across into another building. And this looks like it's just some storage. Wow, they had a lot of stuff in here. Wow, this isn't even their center storage area. Yeah, you can see all these blocks of iron. Obviously, we have iron farms on here, so that's no surprise. Got some other random stuff in here. And then, oh, this goes out to the garden. Look at this wonderful garden. And don't you love how it's, like, elevated up like that? You know, it looks really nice. And they have a pond here. This is so cool. Got some fish in there. Got a bee. It's very, very good. It's very good. We haven't even gotten to the top of this inn yet, but this was just wonderful. And, you know, this isn't even really a part of any base. This was just a side project they did right here, and it looks amazing. Um, and you can go upstairs higher. This just goes up to the highest levels, and I think these are all bedrooms. Yes. That's a bedroom. Bedroom in here. Oh, iron gear. Look at that. Oh, that's a netherite ingot. What's that doing in here? Buckets of axolotls? 22 of them? Why? Why would you have that? This is just insane. Very, very cool. They must have forgotten about a lot of this stuff because they never come over here anymore, I don't think. Wow. Wow, look at that. What does this go up to? Oh, that's just... Oh, this is a very small bedroom. I feel bad for anyone sleeping up here. That would be claustrophobic to the extreme. All right. Well, that's the whole inn here. This is the inn that they made, and they did a great job doing it, let me just say. All right. Now, at this point, let's head over to this one, because I know you guys have been looking at it this whole time, and now I'm going to address it. This is a super farm that I built. 
And you know what's crazy about it is I built it one right before 1.18. I built the whole thing, and then we all moved out to the new world, the new land. Well, not new world. This is all the same world. Um, but we went over to a new area, and this thing just pretty much has gone to waste. But you know what? I really built it just for it being here, just for it to look good, and it's fully functional. It works great. I have every, almost everything you can plant. I have it in here. Floor one is wheat. And I stuck to a theme, but I changed the color palette on each level, so it, you know, just keeps everything interesting. That's wheat. Come up here. We got potatoes. You go up higher, we got carrots. Go up another level, we got um, nether wart. And you can see I use blackstone for this because, you know, it's a nether thing. And I even use glowstone, where all the other floors have sea lanterns. I did glowstone on this just because, I, you know, this is like the nether level. So that's pretty cool. If you come up here, this is the melon farm. Come up another, you got the pumpkin farm. Go up another, you got the beetroot farm. And then you go up another, and you got the sugarcane farm. And there's one more level here up here at the top. And if they ever add a new crop, who knows, I might fill this with the new crop. So we have a whole another space. And you know, it's crazy to see how much like the area the size of this is so big when there's nothing in here you really have a lot of room to plant a lot i really liked making this this was pretty fun to do and then you can get all the way up to the roof and the roof is just lit up so you know nothing can spawn up here but that is our super farm and it's very nice i love it i had a lot of fun doing it and i guess we'll move on to what you guys have been waiting for for the most part we are going to go to Loggerton City now. Now let's talk about this a little bit as I take the trail over to it. You pass the um, you pass the farm here, the super farm. This city, Loggerton, was originally a solo build with Galapagos. This was going to be his base, but then it later got opened up to a community base, and then everybody was building here. So the very first thing he built was this uh, bell tower right here, which serves as a bridge to cross the river into the city. And as you can see, we have a lot to cover here. I am not going to skim over anything whatsoever. This was the very first house he made, and there's really nothing inside it other than he has a ender pearl stasis center, and he's able to get teleported here if somebody flips that lever so he can get easily back. And he's got more ender pearls in there. And uh, he has a secret area. Can I still get to it? Oh, well, I guess I'll just break these for now. Copy these blocks. Aha! I found the secret area. Okay, he just had a couple... Part of the sea. Bucket puffer fish. Oh, he took the secret stuff out. Oh, that's okay. That's alright. It's not like we were missing out on anything too important. We'll just put those out. There we go. All right, so that was the first house. And I'm not going to go inside every house or else this video would really take a long time. Um, but we will stop in the most important ones. These were the second houses he made. And these ended up being our post offices. Nobody really comes in here anymore. Um, but when we uh, did use this a lot, we would mail each other stuff. And you could just flip that on to let you know you got mail. We also ended up doing, oh, and you can see the names of the members here that used to play. She's gone. He's gone. I'm still here. He's here. He's here. Uh, but some of the people would no longer play. This is the post office second floor. You go up here and we got some more. And a lot of these people up here still play. So Night Hunter, Katie Neek, she plays. She doesn't play, and he doesn't play anymore. But we actually have more people on here now who play who just, I, we haven't added mailboxes for them yet. But I guess if we did, we would put them on this side of the wall. But uh, nobody really comes to Loggerton anymore. We're not really over here at the moment. So this place kind of sits abandoned at the moment. But still all fully functional, of course. Uh Galapagos did all these houses on this area, and he just did a wonderful job with the color palette. Everything is just so colorful. Uh, he had a bunch of different shops. Like, this was an iron shop, and you can still buy iron blocks because he had an iron farm. 
that's nice this used to be a shop that I ran called Kelmore building materials and I used to sell materials but it's all empty now pretty much I don't use this shop anymore I don't run it this was a mob shop mob drop so you could buy like arrows gunpowder string spider eyes you know that kind of stuff that's pretty cool and it's cool for the floor he used the blacksmith tables you know just for a different texture it's kind of cool huh okay and then also he sold gear here one diamond each because he could get the gear really simply by trading a single emerald to a villager and when you set up a good villager trading hall you can get all your diamond stuff real easy this is a uh, plant over production so this is tiktok one's honey selling stand here sell blocks of honey and he's still got a ton in there nobody's been buying and he's got some honeycomb blocks right there this right here was a red box but not the kind of red box in real life where you buy movies you bought rockets out of this for your elytra so we got those we sell leather right here we sell slime blocks right here this was the bookstore you could buy all the different you know enchanted books you needed to craft your own god armor but you know a lot of these shops are no longer being ran anymore so they're just it's just a nice aesthetic thing to look at uh and then after that most of these other houses really aren't shops but they're just things he this used to be his processing room where he would store a bunch of stuff to build new houses and he's he's got some decorations in here that was pretty cool okay so this is all galapagos he built all these houses in this area here these are all his now once you cross this bridge and you get to that side those were done all done by night hunter and his associates so that's a different portion of the city you know what's nice is when we built the city we have different districts that are built by different players and right now we're in the middle district which was all built by galapagos originally all these extra houses he made don't have interiors and they're not shops but they look really nice now this is the prison and he built this prison here and he did such a terrific job making it come inside here you know since it's a prison there's a lot of lockdown and stuff so he's got iron doors on everything this meme boat just got oh that was part of a scavenger hunt you can just ignore that sign oh uh, you got your cells in here you got places to sit down tables out there and uh, you got more stuff up there as well and you can come to this side and it's more or less the same thing in fact this takes you up to some level two cells that are up here so yeah you know Loggerton City Prison can hold a few inmates quite a few come out here this is the back courtyard with the basketball hoop and here is bitch the dog this is what I was finally getting back to and he's currently getting swole because he is bench pressing so there he is he's in prison now officially so we got that going on and we'll head on out now and we'll move on I hope I'm not taking too long going over everything. I'm just going at the pace that I like, and I like explaining everything. It's a nice tree he made, a nice building he made. Um, and this is more or less the in his entire section. I don't think I skipped over too much. I think I did a few things. Hold on. He's got a food shop on this one. This was a food shop, and the inside of this looks really nice. But you can see here you can buy a whole bunch of different food. So we got that going on, and then this over here, I don't think it was a shop, but I ended up using this anvil and blacksmith table a lot, just randomly to do my stuff. And I love how he's got these, like, um, ropes connected, you know, by the sides of the houses, and I ended up following that theme on my half, but he's got, like, banners and stuff hanging off of these. So that's pretty cool. This didn't end up becoming anything. A lot of these uh, houses in this area didn't end up getting used. For anything but this one did this is an ice shop this was done by tiktok one this is his shop uh the house obviously was built by galapagos but the shops inside were built by other people and he just sold different types of ice here so you could buy ice because he had an ice farm before this is another bookshop this is a mending only bookshop and he sold his mending books a little uh, a little less than galapagos did 
So we got that, and um, you can buy all your books, and you can see, I think I was his last customer before he moved on to the new area. But he still hasn't picked up his diamonds yet. And, uh, let's see, this goes down to a secret area, but we'll get to that later, because I'll show that whole thing later. Boy, there is so much to show. I don't even know how long it's been, but we still have a long way to go. Alright, this is my half of Loggerton City now that we are now in. This was all built by Night Sky 483 and the river is the dividing factor which divides his half from my half so everything on this side of the bridge is all mine. My first house was this one right here and there's just a couple bookcases in here and yeah. Then you come over here. I love this little back area. This is just kind of like a city plaza center. I got a nice fountain. This is our pro this is my processing building. And yeah, you can see a bunch of the different map arts around. You know, we just like to put them around the city just to show. Uh, I don't have too much left in here. I still got some stuff. But this was when I was really working on this part of the city. Um, so this is, I built these houses, but the shops inside were built by the people who built them. It wasn't me. So in here, this was built by Night Hunter and his associates, and they just did an incredible job designing this. I mean, look at this place, the variety of blocks, the floating candles, and this was a blocks of Atlantis store. So what you could do is you could buy things like sea lanterns, you could buy... Well, those don't. Okay, you can buy some prismarine bricks. You can buy some prismarine. You can buy axolotls supplied by Vivi's Pet Emporium. Is there still axolotls in here? Yeah, there's one. Very nice shop here. So you could just buy some of those uh, ocean monument blocks there. This house over here is another shop. This is TikTok One's community map art gathering inside here. We have all the different map arts that we made. If anyone makes a new map art, it gets posted above the chest, and then inside the chest you can take free copies to display at your base, and we will just make new ones. They're really easy to make new ones, but we got a lot of them. Personally, this one's my favorite. I'm a huge Spongebob fan, and I love Spongebob memes, so obviously the first one I had to do was the Creepy Crabs. So, and he just left a little uh, lectern here just explaining about the whole uh, thing that all the works here are free to take. And um, maybe people will make more one day. That'll be nice. All right. Um, this is a house that never got done with. So that one's still empty in there. Uh, if you come down here, we're getting towards the end of Loggerton on my half. Uh, we have a couple more shops here. This is Redstone Mechanics, and here you could buy a whole bunch of different redstone devices, comparators, repeaters, blocks, hoppers, torches, pistons, everything you need. So, unfortunately though, uh, my prices are pretty expensive. I think I made them too expensive, so no one ever bought from me. And, uh, I could lower them, but at this point I really don't want to run some of these shops anymore. And, Nobody really runs the shops in Loggerton anymore anyways. This was the apothecary. This never got fully finished, but what was done was pretty nice. And he has an extra section back here. This was done by Night Hunter. And uh, the neighboring building right here, they ended up building uh, a brewery. And this was done by Night Hunter's associates. Again, very, very well done. Um, Detail-wise, this place looks amazing. Uh, they use a lot of different blocks, and it really looks like a brewery. They even got black cats in here, you know, as part of the decoration. That's pretty cool, huh? They really took advantage of the size of this building. Uh, it's pretty big, and they used uh, most of the space. Because as you can see, if you look up, this is a pretty, this is a bigger size building in Loggerton compared to, you know, all the rest of them. All right, this one over here is the armory. And as you can see, it's got more of a blacksmith castle type vibe. That's because it's like an armory and you know, you sell like blacksmith supplies, like weapons and gear and stuff. I even had a forge area over here. Uh, and you were able to make your stuff. And then inside here was the actual shop. And as you can see, I had a uh, ancient debris on display here. 
So this shop is officially closed. I ran it for a while and I ended up making a ton of diamonds, but at some point I just had more diamonds than I ever cared to have anymore and it was just too much work creating the god gear, so uh, I finished. I, I closed it down. Uh, but I used to sell, you know, everything here. Diamond chest plate, oh, diamond helm, a diamond shovel. And these weren't just the plain items. These were fully enchanted to God gear. So you were getting a deal. When you bought this stuff, you were buying the best stuff you could make. I also had all netherite gear. I had full set netherite armor, fully enchanted, everything. And uh, I, I collected my payments in here. And there's still a single netherite ingot left. Because I also sold just the ingots. But this was the armory, and uh, it was fun running that for a little while. Um, and it's a nice looking building, too. So we'll come on back here. So, oh, I passed the coal building. I want to at least show this off right here on this side of the street. This is the coal shop, and this was done by Night Hunters Associates. They built this coal shop. Again, they always do a really good job on the interiors of shops. They always use a huge variety of blocks to make everything look nice. And they also built a super smelter right here for it. It's a mega furnace, so that's pretty cool. You come up here, and uh, we got all the different... Well, that's just all a bunch of nether rack. Why is that all up there? I have no idea why they did that. All right, well, that is this whole area, and you know it's cool because this door comes out to the main street. Uh, but if you take this door over here in the back, this goes into the back area plaza here. So that's pretty cool. And then we'll head down here, and then I'll th this will wrap up my section of Loggerton. Uh, this didn't end up becoming anything. This was going to be apartments, but I never got around to interiorizing it. The outside looks pretty nice. This building right here also never got to have a purpose, so it's empty. Um, this one did, though. This is the Goth IHOP. As you can see, the whole building is very dark and gloomy, and I use soul lanterns, and you come inside, and, you know, red carpet. Everything's dark. This was just known as the Goth IHOP, and we hosted a few meetings in here. And there is a sheep in here named Timmy. I did not do that. And uh, he's about to leave. Maybe you should stay in here, Timmy, huh? Be a good boy. And then lastly, this is a dirt house I made. Look at this. I used dirt in this building, and it looks nice, and there's grass and everything. Now, this was ended up being my main spawn storage unit. I uh, kept all my supplies in here. And uh, when I was living here in Loggerton, this was my main storage area. Oh, sorry about the yard. I've been talking a lot. Um... So I just had all the, you know, basic stuff you needed and whatnot. And, uh, okay, we are done with my half of Loggerton. Now we're going to move on to the final section of Loggerton. As you can see, this is a really big city. It just takes a while to get to everything. We'll fly over to make it faster. Oh, I didn't even go over these houses over here. Um, this is a cake shop. And we have Jerry here who runs it. Now, it's funny because this is a pillager, but he doesn't have a weapon anymore. He ended up using all of his arrows, which I didn't even know was a thing. So now he's completely passive, and he's not able to hurt anyone. So he just looks at you funny. But this was a cake shop right there. And then you come through here. Oh, we made a couple cranes. I didn't even show those off. Uh, this building looks, this building reminds me of an olive garden a bit. I actually built this, even though this was on Galapagos's district, I built this house right here. And then he did this one. This one looks really nice. It's empty in there, and he did this one, and yeah, there's this whole back section here I didn't even get to, but there's just more of it. Alright, let's head over to the next section. We are going to move on. This is the Night Haunter and Associates section. Everything built over here was done by Night Haunter and his players. Now, if you notice this house right here looks similar to this house all the way over here. It's because they uh, kind of in a way copied it because uh, Night Haunter wanted uh, Loggerton to still feel like Loggerton. Uh, even though their district deviated a little bit from the type of buildings we built on this half. 
Um, they still kind of wanted to keep the theme, so they kind of just rebranded, retextured this house right here. And it looks really good, honestly. I love the um, crimson wood feel of this, and they also put it on the roof, and that looks really nice. So they did a great job on that. Uh, inside here, though, it's completely hollow. They didn't do anything with it, but it looks really nice. And then they did some more houses here. This was Night Hunter's office, I think. Yeah, there it is, Night Hunter and Associates. And uh, they didn't end up doing anything in here, but it sure looks nice from the outside. Over here, we are officially getting to the museum section of the city here. Now, first of all, this building is just a nice-looking building. There's nothing inside it. It's just for show for the outside, and it looks incredible. I can't remember who built this thing, but... I know it was Night Hunter's Associates. I can't think of the exact players, but they did a great job. I can see, though, all the glass isn't done. Was there supposed to be glass there? Yeah, there was. Well, even though it's not fully done, it does look really nice. All right, here is the center plaza for Night Hunter's District, okay? And this place is just wow, right? They got some wonderful townhomes right here. And they got them on this side over here, too. Just look how lovely those are. This place looks so good. And just look at the gardens they did around here. They have two capital buildings on either side, building A and building B. And it's the same building. They just swap the color palette, and they just look incredible. And we actually keep the museums in here. And I guess I'm going to go into the museums next and work on that. So I'm not going to go in and read every single exhibit to you. Uh, I'm not going to do that. That's just a waste of time. But they're on here and they're in here. This is my exhibit center. This was all of my gear right here before uh, I reset for 1.18. Well, 1.18 came. Everybody reset in a way where we just moved out to a new area on the map and started with nothing. And this was all my gear previous to that. So I got all my stuff here. Uh, there, there are, um, explanations for each of these exhibits on all these lecterns here. I'm not going to get into every single one of them, um, but this was my half of the museum. Over here, this was also my half of the museum. I had a lot of relics to put in here since I'm the server owner. And, uh, Galapagos always loves to flip that pickaxe, and I just fixed it. Now, this is my fir very first diamond pick, by the way, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and all these have... All these have a slice of memory uh, from the server. If you come upstairs here, this is Galapagos's section. And he's got some nice stuff in here, too. And uh, over here is TikToks, but he never did end up putting in his own exhibits. So we just got furniture in here for now. Uh, but maybe one day he might fill it up. If you come down here to the basement... Uh, this goes down into, uh, this is also an exhibit. We used to have a player on here called Villager Films. He built one house and then never played on here again. And uh, just, uh, this actually ended up being where the mall currently is. So I had to get rid of this little house for the mall. But I didn't want to ruin his legacy. So I ended up moving his house down into this area. And those signs right there are even the original signs from it. And I rewrote exactly how they were. And exactly what was right here. So now his legacy can live on in the museum basement. Isn't that nice? Now if we come up to this area, we are on the other building. And over here we have... Uh, this is Neek's. KD Neek. Uh, her username on here is KDGNIK. Uh, but she just goes by GNIK, which is pronounced Neek. Don't worry, that took me a little while to get right. Um, but she didn't end up putting anything in her side yet, but she does have this Enderman that got trapped in a boat. And it's pretty funny because you can, like, anger him. Oh, you can't anger him in creative. But there's nothing he can do about it. He's just stuck in a boat. It's really, really funny. This is, uh, this is one of Night Hunter's associates' rooms. They never did anything to it. This whole side is, like, besides Neek's area, this is Night Hunter's, uh, area over here so this is one of their associates they built some stuff in here uh they have some pretty cool reasoning behind some of these relics if you ever read these uh lecterns here it's pretty funny the haunted grindstone beware look at that that's probably got a nice story behind it and then nothing else in here just some furniture but yeah these buildings look really nice and they're both connected via underground 
and that is uh, the capital area right here we have a couple extra buildings on the side Oh, these houses some of these houses look really nice I need to go into them this right here was Duck's Residence. That's not even his username anymore. It's just one of Night Hunter's associates. And if you come in here, we got some of the stuff he had on display. It was kind of a flex house. We kind of make fun of him, like poke fun at him and say all of his stuff is like flexing. And it's pretty funny. It always gets a chuckle out of me. But he's got some stuff in here. That is a lot of pillager banners. My goodness. I didn't know he had so many. And he's got some uh, glow, glow, glow berry vines there. And if you come upstairs, this is like his flex area. He's got look ancient debris, amethyst, copper, deep slate diamonds. So he's got that going on. That's pretty cool. He's got a basement down here too. He's got some cool. Oh, what happened here? Was this from a fire accident or a creeper? I wonder if this was a creeper that did this. That's really strange. Um, he's got he's got a zombie. This is new. I don't remember seeing this chicken hole, but there's a zombie in there. What's this? This is storage. Wow! I didn't. That is a lot of rails. Oh my gosh! That's a lot of cake. What is going on here? Um, he's also got he's also got a cooker here. This is like his kitchen. Rich boy cave. Yeah. Let's come down here. I love the design, though, on this basalt deep slate. Looks really nice. If you come down here, though, this is his axolotl pit that he's got down here. He's got some axolotls down here. See, there they are. And he's got glow squid. That's kind of cool. That's really all that's down here. I'll tell you what, though. My throat already is getting sore from all this talking. I do not know how I'm going to do this whole video. Um, this is the basement of another house, another player's house uh, that didn't entirely get finished, as you can see. But there's that. And where am I? Where am I? Oh, I ended up on the other side. Okay, let's go back over here. Okay, and then we have Cheese Nick. Okay, so this is Nick's townhome. Neek. And this is, she has one of my Miss Magius uh, map arts right there. And she did pretty nice with her house. She's got these levels like this. She actually ended up with a lot of room. She's got a lot of bookshelves here. She didn't do too much in here, but it's better than mine because I didn't even uh, decorate my townhome. Everybody got a townhome and I never did anything in mine. So it's better. Anything's better than what I did. I stole from you. Oh, okay. Let's see what's in this one. Nothing in that one. I know somebody's got a really nice one around here. Oh, it's this one. This is Mouse Resident, one of Night Hunter's associates. Uh, and this place is very well decorated. I will say, though, it has gotten quite a bit overgrown, but they do have some llamas and a donkey here. Or is that a mule? And then uh, up here is more decoration. A lot of vegetation. I'll tell you what. They really did crazy on that. It looks nice though. It looks very nice. Come down here to the basement. This goes. This goes down to a really, really pretty cave. I mean, look at the detail on this cave. Yeah, they worked really hard on this. This looks really nice. And uh, they have axolotls in here. There's a door to put them in. And uh, are they still swimming? Is there still axolotls or are they gone? Well, I'm not seeing them anymore. That's not good. I don't know what happened to them. There used to be axolotls in there. Anyways, this is a really nice cave, and it's their basement, too. That's what's really cool about it all. They did a great job on that. Okay, and we're back on the other side again. So I guess we'll go over this area now. So what, where we are is we're on the other side of the townhomes here. And before I get over to that section, I do want to come over to this clock tower because I know you guys have been looking at it and you want to know what it's all about here. So this is a clock tower that I built and uh, it looks really nice. And I did the clock face really well. Those are always a little tricky to get. And you know what's cool is it looks great on the outside, but the inside I got some cool stuff in here too. 
It's kind of like steampunk inside here. I got a lot of random stuff happening. You can see these like metal pipes going up. And uh, as you go up to the higher levels, things start. It's, it's like all falling apart in here. It's almost kind of like a parkour challenge, but it's, it's really not. You just got to watch your footing a little bit. This is cool. You're like inside the clock tower, and you can climb it all the way up to the top using the various stairs and ladders to get up here. And uh, yeah, this was this was a lot of fun to make, and I love doing the interior of this. I wasn't going to do an interior originally, but then I was like, you know what, this would be a good idea to do all this. So you come all the way up here, and then it... Where's the way all the way up? Here it is. You can take this all the way up to the top. Oh, why am I taking the stairs and stuff? I can fly. I'm in creative right now. Anyways, you can see the gears. These are the gears to the clock faces that turn the clocks. There's one on each side because these are the uh, actual clock faces from the inside. And then this just goes all the way to the top to the top floor. So, yeah, this is the clock tower. This is a lot of fun to come in and check out and explore yourself. All right. Let's move on. Let's move on. Okay, so look at this. I cleared this whole area out. And I planned on building more stuff over here to expand Loggerton some, but I just really never got around to it. I was going to build a grand library over here, but again, I never really got around to it. Uh, so, you can see a majority of Loggerton from here. Sorry the render distance is low. We, I'm on the server and we have it set to 10, so I really can't... It really doesn't go really, really far out anyways, so... Um, over here, you are seeing some of Link K25's base. Why do I have an egg? Let's toss that. Uh, this is Link K25's original base, and it was a tree house. And he had a wheat field here, and I'm actually going to go into Spectator because I know he has some stuff underground, and I don't want to find the exact ways to get down to it. He made this uh, water-looking thing with fish. It's an aquarium, I guess. He never got around to finishing it. I have no idea what this was going to be. But he was working on this. And then if you come down here, this was actually going to be a dragon shrine he also never finished. And this is pretty cool, I'm going to be honest with you. The floor looks really nice. He's got lava walls, and it's like this dragon shrine. And then you were supposed to uh, follow all this and then come up to this staircase. And then this was going to go to the grand area right here. Uh, but he never got around to completing the whole thing. Um, but it, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, nonetheless. I'm trying to think if he had anything serious down over here. Uh, he did have a, this is a farm of some sort, and I'm trying to think of what kind of farm it was. He's got iron golems here. I guess, uh, I have no idea what this was supposed to be. Well, he's got stuff to kill the mobs down here. I don't even know if it works right. Okay, um, well, let's head back up to the surface and we'll keep going. Uh, this is the last part of Loggerton right here. This is the final section before I get to the sewers. Uh, this is... Uh, over here is Neek's Flower Emporium or Shop. I can't remember how she technically named it. It's Flower Emporium. And in here you can order flowers. This was just a little garden house and it looks really nice. As you can see. It looks very nice. And over here she had a greenhouse but there was some cactus in here. That's pretty cool. Um, over here we have an ice skating rink, and there's some a pathway up here that goes to this really nice Christmas tree that we built last Christmas. That was very cool. And uh, over here is just a really nice forested area. They did a great job making this. And this is a little cave that, oh, it goes down to a little fox. That's nice. This right here was our Spleef Arena. Now, I know you play Spleef with snow, but it was Halloween at the time, and we wanted to use pumpkins, and we all had efficiency five axes, so it was insta-break, so it was the same as using snow, but that was really fun. And we got, um, there's lava under there, I think. Yep, there it is. So, yeah, this was our Spleef Arena. Now, here we go. This is the Colosseum, and this was a giant project done exclusively by Night Hunter and his associate of builders. 
and they just did a great job on this. And I don't mean to say exclusively, actually, because uh, Neek ended up doing a lot of the uh, vegetation outside of it with the trees and the flowers. Uh, but everything else in here, they did. And this is incredible. This is like one of the best builds on the server right now. Here it is. Here is the Coliseum, and it is huge. We actually hosted games in here where we did PvP matches and stuff like that. We had a ton of fun. Look, you can see there's people up in the bleachers. There was even a king's area right here. This is where the king would, like, watch the games from. They did such a good job on this, and they even did the awning. Look at that. Look at the red awning like that. It looks really, really cool. And, you know, they did the whole interior, too, for the most part. I mean, you have ways to get up to the higher levels. Such a good job. Such a good job on this. Trying to see how you get up to these levels here. If there was a uh, entrance somewhere. Oh, there's one to get up here. This is this is the second level. I guess I missed a staircase somewhere, but I know that. Oh, what's this? Runner Halloween games runner-ups overall winners. That's cool. Team Red. There's all the different players here. These are all different players who play on the server, uh, on and off. But most of these are Night Hunters associates, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we got Shovel Tournament. I didn't even see they did this stuff. This is new to me. Wow. Wow, very cool. Very cool. Yeah, they did a great job. Great job on the Coliseum. And you know it's funny. Um, This whole area that's been flattened out to build this Coliseum, I was actually the one who originally flattened the whole thing. And I was going to put something here, but I never got around to finishing it. And I never did um, build anything here. So I just had a massive flat area. And they're like, hey, uh, you know, we want to build a Coliseum. I said, hey, take that flat area that I flattened out and never used and they said okay and then they built the coliseum here so yeah it's one of the most impressive builds on the server right now and it's very amazing and they have a smaller coliseum right here this was like a practice run before they built the giant one but this is more like a shooting range right here shooting gallery or whatever they're called and then uh, they were working on a couple more houses just linking everything up tidying everything up we have um we have some horse stables right here. These are the llama stables right here. And, uh, all right, that is all of Loggerton finally. Oh my gosh, isn't it such a big place? I don't even know if I got to every single building. Like, most of these townhouses right here are empty. I didn't, I know I went over those ones over there, but these ones here, for the most part, are empty. They had a couple, um, storage warehouses here and these look really nice these were really well decorated and it's you know down by the river so if boats come in from the river they can come up here so all right let's go ahead and move on and guess what this city is hiding something secret i built a sewer system under the city believe it or not and the entrance is right here so if you're going along the river, just along Loggerton, just checking things out, you might stumble upon this opening down here. And what do you got down here? That's right, I built a sewer system. And this is pretty cool. Over here on, in here, we have, um, this was uh, an area Galapagos was using when he originally started this city. And he just stored some stuff down here, but I ended up bricking the whole thing. And then I built this whole extra section out here. We have an entire sewer system down here, and it gets even bigger down here. So if you look down here, you know, I got I got a full sewer system down here. It's just cool to come down here and hang out in the sewers. Check that out. Isn't that neato? And it goes even further down. The further down you get, the more crazy it gets. Like, like less and less of it is in good repair. As you can see, like up here, things are falling apart. That Enderman has been up there for so long, and I don't think he can despawn with that dirt, and I don't think he can place the dirt on a slab. I don't know how it works, but he is always here. I don't get it. Anyways, we got more water flowing through here, and it just keeps going. The sewers keep going. We got the whole system going further down. You can go further down into it. Now, this area, I didn't end up finishing this section here. I was going to stone brick a lot of this, make it look prettier. 
but if you come down here there's just there's more sewer there's more sewer system down here and these are new these guys used to never spawn but once 1.18 came in they started spawning on these uh, little waterfall things uh, this was all built in 1.16 so it's been a little while um, and then you can go further into it you can go down in here I have some more stuff in here and uh, I was gonna do a little more stuff down here I never really got around to doing it got a bridge you cross over here but then guys we are now into the great mine this was my mine and this this was all hand block destroyed without a beacon I by hand mined this entire area out myself and oh my gosh did it take a while but it looks really nice and this was before 1.18 when you had to like torch really close so you had to make sure nothing spawned but now you can be much more generous about the spacing of torches but before that everything had to be torched really well but this just look at this massive area man and I got so much diamonds from this this was some of my storage over here I, I mean I got like ores I got dirt gravel sand cobble cobble and then uh this is just miscellaneous stuff uh, over here just more stuff I ended up emptying out those <coughs> pardon me um got some cobble not so much anymore I took a lot of the stuff out of here what is this diorite and there's still a good amount of diorite in there and then this this is an extra pathway that goes way down um, to another place, which I'm not going to get to right now, but I'm, I will get back to that. There's just so much to cover. So much. But that's the entire sewer system. It ends up coming down into this great mine, which is really cool. So let's go ahead and we'll head back up to the surface. I made a shortcut to get back up to the top. You just take this stairway up. And once you're at the top up here, you're right over at my side of Loggerton. Look at that. Bam. Here's my dirt house. Remember this thing? So that's an easy way to get in and out of it. All right. Now we are moving on. We are moving on. Let's see here. I got most of the immediate area. And I guess we will branch on out a little bit before returning to the nether. So I can get to all the rest of the stuff. So... Let's head on out. This is a pathway that leads out onto other builds, and we are just going to follow this for a little bit till we get to where we're getting. I built this pathway, and it just heads out to some of the other stuff that's just out here. We have so much. Oh, I really need to do that area first. Okay, we're going to go a different way at first, but then I am going to go that way. So remember the inn, right? Oh, let me speed up, get myself in creative, get moving. All right, we have some trail systems here, and here's the inn. Now, if you follow this pathway, this comes up to uh, the southern area of the map. And if you follow this all the way through here, you get to our cathedral built by Night Haunter and his associates. This is a Night Haunter base out here. So, I mean, just look at how beautiful this cathedral is. The textures, the work on it, the glass. It's just so nice in here. Check this out. Now, he didn't end up putting pews or anything in here yet. And he swore that one day he'd uh, do the inside of it. And maybe he will. Um, but it looks just fantastic. And why are we missing glass? Oh, I get it. There's, it's on both sides. I guess that's that was intended. Um, down here is a basement. And there's one of the nether portals right there. Um... And that's linking this place up. But yeah, this is the cathedral. And then if you cross on over here, this is their center base area. TikTok 1 originally was helping him build a lot of this. And then him and his associates ended up taking this whole place over. Uh, but inside here they have a bee area. And it's all enclosed really nicely. It looks looks great. And uh, in here is a chest system. Down here is more stuff. This place is huge. They have a lot of stuff going on in here. Uh, they have some custom built houses here. And this is where they kept some of their villagers for the villager farms. Um, and this is where they sold their mending books from to go back to the shop to sell. They made their mending books here. 
massive wheat farm, sugarcane farm, farms everywhere, cow farm, crop farms, 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 farms. They built, they built a lot of them, and you can see there's more over here too. And I think they need a lot of them to, you know, trade with villagers and stuff. But this is a nice little area. And, uh, you know, the cathedral is amazing. Now, they were going to build something else over here. They haven't finished it all yet. But this was going to be a grand entrance into, like, a, I guess, into the mountain way. This was really cool what they were working on. In fact, down here, wow, look at all this empty space. What were they doing? This was the creeper farm. They had a creeper farm right here. Look at that. That's very cool. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, when you're in Spectator, just look at all of the mining they've done. My goodness, you know, they went... They did so much on here. They have so much random stuff going on down here. I can't even keep track of everything they've been doing. But, uh, they've been some of the most active players on here, and they've done so much. This place is just crazy here. Alright, um, let's move on now. Actually, I need to go further out here a little bit, because there's a couple more builds, uh, out yonder here. Let's see what we got out here. We have some houses here, done by TikTok1. He built a little spruce collection of houses right here. Uh, there is another build over here done by TikTok one in another player. They just did a little bit of stuff right here. This is kind of like an outpost. Really nice though. And uh, all right, let's fly on back. Let's fly on back to where I was. But that's the whole cathedral there, and it's all linked up with a road system right here. That gets back into the spawn region and also the Loggerton City here. So, okay, let's follow this path again where we were, and we will continue on. We will continue on our way. This right here was a flower generator. Oh, I need to get to that stuff, too. Man, there is just so much stuff I can get to. Um, over here was a TNT testing explosion pit that Galapagos Tiger did. Um, and then over here are some of his resource farms. So this right here is his own creeper farm that he made. And uh, it still works, I think, um, but he did uh, wall it all off, so it wasn't an eyesore, but he, he used all pink concrete. It's crazy. Looks really, really cool, though. He, uh, he did a great job on it all. All right, um, over here is his resource farm, and look at this cool melon he made. He made a giant melon, but if you go inside it and you head down, bam, look at this. He's got... Some farms here, that's a seaweed farm, a sugarcane farm, and a pumpkin and melon farm. All automatic. And they all get flushed down into these chest systems here. So these are some resource farms, and it just looks so cool. I mean, look at all the lime green concrete. And then he had a little forested area up here. This was just for decoration, pretty much. But that's pretty cool. Over here, using red concrete, Galapagos Tiger, he built. Uh, this is his villager breeder and trading hall. Right here is where he breeds the villagers. And then they get brought into this system here. They get zombified inside here. As you can see, they get converted. Let me go back into creative. They get converted back so their prices are low. And then he sets them all up in here. And he has a couple different halls. And uh, he's got all of his villagers here. And this is really nice. This place is very red. And then this stuff is for clay. Terracotta. So he can get that off of them. And he did a great job on that. And that's really all that is down here. And so those are the Galapagos resource farms. So now let's head back on over here. Oh, wrong thing. There we go. All right, back on the trail. Over here, this is a giant stone mine. I put a beacon in here, and this was my way of collecting stone really, really quickly. And I intended to bring it all the way down, but I got all the stone I needed, so I kind of stopped working on it. 
And these chests, are they all still filled with like stone? How much of this die I actually end up using? Whoa, there was a lag spike right there. Oh, well no, I still got a lot of stone in here. Look at all that. That's all stone. All stone that went to waste pretty much. Huh. Yeah, anyways, we'll keep on heading down the road here. And we'll see what else is down here. Now, what you're coming up to is my first base, which is really, really pathetic. It's a mountain base. And you can see some of the windows up there. Uh, but if you follow the trail and you come over here, this was my first base. This was the mountain base I made. And it's not really overly impressive. And I'm sorry this area right here just looks awful. I never got around to cleaning it up. Um, but if you just come through here, you get over to, you know, just parts of the hallways and stuff. Uh, if you come in here, this was my original pigman farm, and this is how I got my XP. This whole thing up here is a full uh, pigman, zombie pigman farm. And uh, that's how I got my XP originally. And then here's my enchantment table, and my chests and everything to be able to make god gear. This was the earliest way I did that. And I uh, got the chest down here that collects stuff. So there's that. There's my XP farm. Up here was my chest room. And uh, this was a balcony. And that whole thing right there is the zombie pigman farm. And this loops back around to the front e entrance right here. And then after that you can take these stairs. And these go down to my mine and some other stuff right here. We'll just head down and check it out. This right here goes to my vault. I had a gold vault right here. There used to be more gold in here, but I ended up using a lot of it. But this was my uh, vault, and we have a couple iron golems in here defending the place. And then if you head further down, you get all the way down to my mine. And uh, look at this. This is not creative, ladies and gentlemen. Those are all survival diamonds. That This was my entire diamond collection. Remember I said we reset for uh, 1.18 where we went to a new area and took nothing with us? Well, these were all the diamonds I had beforehand, and I just put them all on display here. All of Night Sky's diamonds mined and received before 1.18. And then over here were all my other personal belongings, all my shulker boxes, ender chests, and all that stuff. And um, you were wondering what that one pathway was in the Great Mine before. Well, this is it. Let me go into Spectator, and I'm going to zoom, zoom, go really fast. And uh, this is a long pathway that connects all the way back to Loggerton, all the way back to the Great Mine that I did. Very long way. Very long way. And here we are. Back over to Loggerton. Back to the great mine that's underneath Loggerton. So that's what that was. And I, sh I told you I was going to get back to it. And there it is. So let me zoom back over here. And we'll keep going with the tour. Alright. And uh, over here was my branch mine. This was when I was actually branching for diamonds. It was my strip mine. So I was... Um, I was able to get all my diamonds, and those go out a really long way. They go out like a thousand blocks, so I was able to make a lot of diamonds, man. Turns out, though, once you have a villager trader, you don't really end up needing them. So, so they all kind of are just like a, you know, achievement piece, just a decoration thing. And uh, Night Hunter just joined the server, and he gave me a greeting. I'll have to explain to him later that I was making a YouTube video, so I'm not really able to respond to him right now. Uh, we're back on the trail again. This was the original trail I took going from Loggerton down over to my mountain base. In fact, I didn't even go up to the uh, upper level all the way up, but I'll just show you what's up here. It just basically is a stairway that comes all the way up to this area up here. And then this comes all the way up to the top of the mountain. And then from when you're up here, you can look down and, you know, see a lot of the land. So that's pretty cool. If you follow this trail, you'll go around a lake here. And then this will go all the way to a city I was working on. We're about to go check that out. Now, if you follow this, this comes all the way to a city I built called Everclear. 
Now, this was a city I started on and didn't entirely finish, but what I did build looks pretty nice, you know, for the most part. Um, got some houses here, got a really tall stone house, and then look, look at this thing. Look at this behemoth of a skyscraper. Oh my gosh, why did I build this, okay? This isn't creative, folks. This was all built in survival. I collected all the materials and hand-placed this entire thing. And it took like, um, oh my gosh, like over a week of nonstop building to do this whole thing. And oh my goodness, it was just crazy. I had plans to interiorize it, but I just, once I built this, I was like, I am done with this thing. It's huge. And uh, look at this really disgusting looking building in the center. Um, I'll tell you about that in a second. So we have some houses here that I built. This was, this was my place. This is a Night Sky 483 build here. And uh, I have a sheep farm, as you can see. I got every color sheep going all the way up, all 16 colors. Also got a tree farm over here. We got oak, uh, birch, spruce, jungle, dark oak, and acacia. Got the six main tree types all right here. This was the original place I would come to get uh, wood. Now... You're seeing that this was built pretty high up off of the ground, and that's because this used to be something else. And you're about to see in a second. If you go into this building, and you come downstairs, look at this. Is this not the most wheat you have ever seen in a very long time? This used to be a huge wheat field, and I built all that stuff on top of the wheat field. Hand placed all this dirt hand placed hand grown all this wheat all this stuff took hours took days to do and uh, I ended up building on top of all of it and I'm not sure why honestly if I could take it back I would have just built everything somewhere else and preserved this whole wheat farm that's now hidden underground but I didn't and it's all there um, so we got that going on so well, that's this whole area now. So this has been ever clear. And uh, I didn't really go inside any of the houses because they're pretty much all hollow. So we don't have to worry about that. But now I know you're wondering about this thing. What the heck is this? Well, this is a freeway bridge highway thing I built that goes all the way to another player's base. And we're going to head out on it. So I built this whole thing. And you can even take uh, the railway system here I have linked up. And you can take that all the way to the place. But this thing is so long. I'm going to have to like go zoom zoomy to really get to the end of it in a reasonable amount of time. But I mean this thing just goes and goes and it cuts right through the mountains. And it just goes and goes and goes and it goes over a huge ocean. And I actually haven't really even finished this whole bridge. A lot of the supports haven't been completely done yet. But you can just imagine the amount of time it took to build this thing. I mean, it just goes on and on and on all the way out into the ocean like this. I mean, just look at it go. Yeah, you can see at this port, at this part, I stopped doing the supports. The supports ended right here because, man, it is just a doozy working on this thing. And as you can see, it just goes. It just keeps going. It goes over a huge ocean. And we're getting to the end of it now. And here we are. We are at the stop. And uh, um, Western Sea to Neek Land. So if you cross this, it will cross over to Katie Neek's base. And here we are. This is a new section, a new chapter. This is Neek's base. And there's a lot to go over here. She spent the better half of... Well, over a year working on this place. She has a very tightly packed, dense forest right here. And this whole thing is pretty much on an island. This is her enchanted forest. Because if you come into this, you can see this entire forest is detailed. I mean, look at the moss carpets, the flowers, the well, the mushrooms, the everything. She, um, she detailed this entire island all the way down to, like, the finest detail. She even did the uh, beaches and look under the water how she perfectly lined up the sand to uh, go downward slope perfectly the whole way around. She even paid 
detail to the water down under the water, which is something I'd never do. Um, but it's just crazy. This right here is her tree she built. And uh, inside there is the nether portal link into that. And we'll get to that later. Um, she has a giant diorite moon right here. She has a beautiful wall mural on the side of the cliff face. Uh, this wizard tower right here was a collaborative project between me and her. I built the tower and she did all the stuff inside it, which I got to show you. It looks great. So she's got um, some axolotls here. And this is the inside, and it looks really nice. She decorated it really well. Uh, okay, and uh, you come up here, and then up here at the top is like a summoning spell stop right here. And that's pretty cool. And there's, you can look out there into the sea. And so that, that was a fun wizard tower to do. We had a lot of fun working on that. Around back, uh, there is a uh, way to get out from the back and that goes into this really fun um, downward pathway boy my brain is just potatoes right now this video is becoming so long but I'm like going into detail on everything um, so this comes all the way down here and then it head, ends up going through this trail through this forest and then you get to her farm area where she's got a whole bunch of different farm animals and cows and sheep and pigs and the sheep are colored and she even did decorations out here with the roses and the spruce trees are tightly packed she made the water look really nice you can even see the hand placed cobblestone in there and uh let's see what else uh we didn't even there is so much to get here you know she's got a cake there a jellyfish that's supposed to be a glass jellyfish right there you can see the um kelp under there she's got a bunch of chickens in there too um you know she's really big into vegetation and flowers and everything looking just so like the attention to detail she does is just incredible absolutely incredible she's got her farms here and uh this is a little underground path that you can come through and it comes out on this end uh she's got a bee farm here a nice little lake here and this was a horse stable. Uh, she's got a rabbit temple in the forest here, as you can see. Uh, and this is her center house right here. And she does not disappoint on details, man. She is very, very into, like, very small details. She's got the armor stands up here. Um, storage, all the different blocks, all the different map arts we've made right there. And then you can get down into the basement. She's got some more stuff down here, some more storage. And then you can go even deeper down. And then we'll show you the whole underground stuff she's got going on. It's pretty crazy. Uh, this is a long corridor right there. If you come down here, you got... You got this crazy-looking iron forge giant build here i mean look at this this looks incredible and she's got glass down here with the lava underneath it uh this is pretty cool this is very cool uh this is her strip mine where she collected diamonds from and these you know these are long paths that go way down you know this is very familiar for if you're collecting diamonds without using an x-ray which by the way we don't use any cheats or hack clients on this server everything is vanilla survival you find your diamonds type of deal so um yeah she did a great job as you can see the mushrooms have been growing like crazy down here because if you just leave chunks loaded for a long time the mushrooms start to spread like crazy and this is a back area that's behind the walls that's pretty cool wow look at the mushrooms i can't tell if she placed these down or if these have just grown like this shut the trap door please okay this goes over to, uh, this is a, this is a, like a night chamber in here. This looks pretty cool. I remember her building this. Mm. Uh, let's see. Boy, I am getting tired, I'll tell you that. My voice is just killing me right now. Uh, and then we're back up at the top. I know I've missed a thing or two. I'm not going to be able to cover every little thing, but I'll try to do as much as I can. Uh, but this is her whole area. Now this over here, 
This stuff right here, this section right here is a different builder. This is by Lukewarm Soda. He has, he, they just joined recently and they've already done some really cool looking stuff. They have a couple buildings here. They have some horse stables. That is a bee farm, which it's crazy how many people in here love building bee farms. You know, I've never built a single one. I just don't think they're that fun to do, but people love doing them, I guess. And then this is a mansion they're working on. It's not, you know, by any means done, but uh, they do have a couple decorated rooms in here they're working on. And they use a different variety of blocks for the floors, and they do a really good job. I mean, look at this floor. This is this is really cool. Um, but they've done... Oh, this is new. Wow, look at this library. This is very cool. Look at the amethyst floor with the moss. Really great looking library here. Yeah, they, uh, oh, they got a beacon. They got a beacon, too. That's very nice. Yeah, this is the, uh, but this is a separate base right here, and they've already done some pretty cool stuff. Oh, look at the roof. They even, they did a really good job making the spiky roof up here. Very cool. Very cool. And they got this house right here. I don't really know what's in every single, oh, wow, yeah, they really decorated this place really nice. They got some more stuff down here. Very cool. Very cool. So, um, that's pretty much this whole base. This, uh, base is known as Neek Land 1 because there's now a Neek Land 2. And then this over here, Soda hasn't really named his area. But, um, it's across the, I guess the river is dividing their bases. Um, so we got that going on. So that's pretty cool. So that's this whole base. So, um, what I'm going to do now... Let's see if I missed anything in that area. Let's go ahead and teleport back to spawn. And uh, we will continue from here. So now we are actually going to get into the builds that are further out now. We have really hit... I'm trying to make sure we've hit everything in the local area. That's all local stuff. Um, I don't think I've missed anything. Hmm. Got all the stuff out there. Stuff out there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We hit everything in the local area. And if I did miss something or two, I'm sorry. But I just can't think of everything off of the top of my head. So let's go ahead. And we're going to go into the nether now. And now we are going to explore all the rest of the stuff. This is our nether hub. Welcome to the hub. Um... It's a great one. It was built by Galapagos and TikTok One. I ended up doing the plus and minus signs that you see above here later on. But yeah, as you can see, one of the highways is way bigger than the other ones. And guess who did the big one? That was me. And why did I do that? Well, because I did it. And that's all that needs to be said about it. Um, there's stuff down every single one of these highways. And we're going to get to all of it. Okay, so we still got a lot more to cover. And I guess we'll start with the biggest one. We'll start with mine here. And uh, we'll show you everything that's down here. So first of all, this goes to one of the first bases I showed you, which was that glass dome base where I said it, I described it as the Pokeball with the red carpet. We don't need to go back down there. But their base is there. And if you come down a little further, we get to our end portal. And there it is. This right here goes to an end portal, and this end portal build was done by TikTok1. He made a giant hole with a lot of cool white quartz all around it, as you can see. Let me see if I can find an easy way to get out of here. Alright, there we go. Oh, I could have just gone into spectator mode anyways, which is what I'm going to do. Oh, look at that. He's continuing it. Okay, so when... When he first built this, it was before 1.18, so it went down to uh, bedrock, and then that was it. That was the whole hole. But now that we have extra deep slate, TikTok has already started to build this down even further, and I think he's going to take it all the way down to the... Yeah, there's the beacon. Yeah, he's decided he's going to bring the hole all the way down, and that was something he didn't tell us about, which is good for him. I'm glad to see he's working on that. Anyways, um... He made this really, really cool looking uh, quartz array and uh, you can spawn in from any one of the four nether portals and then you can get into the end portal right there. 
If you go into each of these rooms, though, he's built some stuff in here. Um, it's kind of mysterious and ominous. It's almost like there was a virus here that happened. Dead 4121, put into quarantine. You know, he was kind of making like a lore-based build out here, like something terrible had happened out here. Uh, but it's pretty cool. And then in these other side ones, he's just got chests in each of them, I think. Chess and chess. Yeah, so that's all that. But if you if I zoom out here, you can see the entire thing. It's like way out in the middle of nowhere. Um, but he's done a great job making this thing. Great job indeed. Very good build. So let's go ahead and head through. That's all that's here. Um, so let's go ahead and head back onto the highway and we will continue. All right, let's continue down this and I will show you more of the stuff. Oh, and yeah, this was all built in survival. I did all this took like two weeks to do. I just, I don't know why I went so crazy on this highway, but I did. I'll show you it from the outside too. So you can see what it looks like. I mean, look, look at this thing. Look at that. And you know what? I could I could go on for days about how the gas kept shooting me while I was trying to build this. Look, there's even an imperfection right there. There's a missing block. Um, but uh, this thing was just so crazy to build. So crazy. So crazy. I do not want to build any more of it. And I probably never will if I have it my way. It does have an end, though. But it does go down a little ways, as you can see. And let's speed it up a bit here. Come on. Come on, let's get moving. All right, here's the end of it. Now, um, TikTok One Ice Factory. So the only other thing that's down here, what does that say? Anything further than this point is unconfirmed. Yeah, yeah, it's true. I didn't know how far I was going to go down with it. Uh, but if you come this way, this is a an ice outpost that TikTok One did. And you can see it's a little ways out. Let's go ahead and go back into creative. Head on in. And uh, he had he was planning on building an ice castle at some point. Um, but that never ended up happening. But he does have some ice factory ice generators he built around the area to be able to produce ice. And that's really the only thing out here. I mean, he covered this mountain in ice like this, so that's kind of cool. But other than that, this is where he was getting his ice to sell in his ice shop. And that's really it. That's the only thing out here. Um, that's really it, is just some of that stuff. All right, uh, let's go zoomy, and we'll head on back down. That's everything that's down this highway. I wish there was more down this one. This is one of the lesser populated highways. So let's head on back. And we are booking it. We are booking it. All right, we're back at the center hub. Uh, next, we will do the Plus Z Highway. This was built by Galapagos Tiger. And some of the stuff here we've already seen because... Um, it was so close like that goes to the cathedral which you've already seen and this goes to uh, another small base that you saw and so does that one so the only other thing down here uh, would be Galapagos's main base that he worked on before 1.18 which is quite impressive as you're about to see Sky Islands here we go let's head on in All right. Now you may think we're on the ground right now. I can tell you, my good friend, that we are not. We are high in the air. We are high in the air. Look at that. Look at that. My goodness. This is one of the more impressive bases on this place. This was done by Galapagos Tiger. Uh, all hand design. He built this all from scratch and it's just incredible. And he didn't even use schematica for this. This was just all done by himself. He's one of the best builders on the, uh, server. Um, he did a really good job. And I mean, look at his airship over here. He did all built in survival, no cheats, no nothing. And, uh, you know, what's great is he even did the interior of this place really well. I got to show you guys this stuff in here. 
Nope, didn't get it. There we go. So inside here, he's got a couple rooms, some bedrooms. Uh, this is a main living room area with a nice little waterfall display. Over here is a, another bedroom. Actually, this is more of like an office, it looks like. And uh, we'll head upstairs first. If you come up here, this is his grand library and his map. Look at that. It is very cool. You can see where we're at. And all that down there is all wheat farm. It's all pretty crazy. And um, let's see. If you go up higher, it just goes up to the balcony at the top of the mansion, which you can look down and see everything. That's pretty cool. And, uh, you know, it's cool. He used looms to, you know, use the texture of empty bookshelves. And it looks really nice. This area looks very good. If you go down to the basement, he's got some stuff down here. This is where his main kitchen area is. This is the kitchen, refrigerator, and uh, staircases going on both sides. Uh, these are, that's a bedroom, and this is a creepy room, storage room. Now, if you come over here, there's a secret, though. See how this looks like an unsuspecting wall? Well, watch this. Mm, hold on. No, that doesn't do it. Oh, did I do it? Aha! Secrets. Check this out. This is goes to. This is a secret elevator. Where is the button? Ha! Down we go. And this goes to a secret chamber. And he used to keep all of his diamonds and uh, netherite and stuff here. But since we moved, he had to move it all out. But this is where he kept all his stuff before he reset for 1.18. And he's got all of his best gear and items in here. Look at all that. Got a bunch of stuff there. Stuff there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's got some nice stuff down here. But this is so cool. Like, um... I could never build such a complicated redstone contraption like an elevator like this. He did such a good job on it. Look at it go. Yeah. And then um, if you flip that lever, this whole thing will close up. There it goes. And now it's like nothing ever happened. You have never known. Pretty cool, huh? So that's the whole mansion here. The Sky Mansion on the Sky Island. And he did a great job. He's got the multiple map arts around that we've made. And uh, he, he just, he's done such a good job on this. And if you look down here, he's got like a lower deck, lower area down here. And it's kind of in here like a tunnel. And uh, I love his um, flying device right here, the fly ship, the airship. It looks really good. And then down here, let's head on down. So down here, he's got his wheat farms. This is a cherry blossom tree. Uh, I don't, I can't remember the name of what this pink tree is called, but I know these are real. Um, he's got a water tower, and he's got various farmhouses surrounded. Uh, and he did the interior on all of them. They are all furnished inside, and they look really nice. Did such a great job on all these. I won't go into all of them, but as you can see, great job on these. Great job. Uh, and it just kind of loops around. It's just one chunk of land. All these wheat farms. He's got the cobble, you know, uh, walls up, you know, protecting the wheat. And there's pathways everywhere. This goes to the mine. And this is a crystal mine. And as you can see, he worked really, really hard on this. He has a giant elevator shaft system. Comes down. And look at all the purple crystals that uh, people mine out. This is, this is very, very cool. He did a great job on this. And you probably saw the uh, cart passing by on this bridge here. It's just on a loop cycle. It's just for show, but it looks really nice. Look at it go. It's like stuff's being moved around. Did a great job on all of it. There's an Enderman there. And look, even though it's dark here, nothing's spawning. That's because these aren't normal stone blocks. He actually slabbed this entire area to stop mobs from spawning. That is some dedication right there. This is another farmhouse. This is more of a barn. And in here he's just got a bunch of livestock and uh, wheat bales and stuff. 
he has a waterfall for people to be able to get up to the islands if they don't have elytras. And, uh, yeah, this is his entire base. Um, it doesn't seem huge, but the amount of work he did on this stuff is, like, insane. He, he did such a great job on this. All right, well, that's this base. Uh, this is the Sky Islands by Galapagos Tiger, and we are going to go ahead and move on. So now we're going to go ahead and head back in. Get back onto the nether highways, and we will head on down. We gotta head all the way back. Thank goodness for zoomy spectator mode. You can get yourself moving really, really fast like this. We almost there? Okay, here we are. We're back. Okay, next we will do the Minus X Highway. This was built by Night Haunter and his associates. And we got some cool stuff here. And look, this is new. They installed rails. So that's very cool. That's a new feature. So now they can easily take the rails without, you know, having to use up a bunch of hunger or waste elytra rockets or anything like that. Um, oh, we are about to pass something. This is a build that I did. This is... If any of you guys are familiar with the back rooms, I did a back rooms inspired build. All in, all in uh, oh, that's from the scavenger hunt. This was all done in survival, of course, hand placed all of it, and this is just almost like an endless maze of back rooms. Now, granted, I did put furniture in here, but um, just for some decorations, but it's just randomly segmented rooms. That just keep going out and out and in different directions and they just keep going and going. And uh, the entire area is like 20,000 blocks. I mean it doesn't go like 20,000 blocks out one direction. But if you, uh, the square area, it takes up 20,000 blocks. Um, hold on, I gotta check something real quick. Alright. Um, but yeah, this is this is the back rooms, and it's just randomly segmented rooms, just like the creepy pasta. I wanted to build it, and it goes out a decent ways. And there's a couple Easter egg rooms around here if you look for them. But you know, you got crafting tables, desks, uh, paintings, uh, bookshelves, all sorts of stuff around here. And let's see if I can find the wheat room. That's one of the secret rooms. Oh, there's the crafting table room. And there's the wheat room. Now you're probably thinking, oh, what's my Y level? 60? Is it underground? No. We are at 225 pretty much. We are way up in the sky. Look at that. <laughs> This entire thing I built up in the sky. Look at <laughs> look at the size of this thing. <laughs> Just a whole bunch of randomly segmented rooms. This is absolutely crazy. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh, where in the hell did you get all the materials for this? I mean, look how much gray wool that is. Yeah, well, guess what? Right over here. Hold on. Wait for it to load. Let me get down a little lower. Okay, there's my birch farm, and there is my wool farm. So this is where I got all the gray wool for the floor, and that's where I got all the wood for the walls. And the slabs at the top I just took from my stone supplies and just did mass cooking. But, um, yeah, this this I did this in May of 21. May of 2021. Oh my gosh, it was just absolutely insane building this whole thing. Alright, let's take the nether portal back. And we'll keep moving on. But there's the back rooms for you. Alright, back on the road again. Let's keep going. Now if you keep on heading down this way, that goes to just a place that they gathered villagers at. Night Hunter and his associates. And if you keep heading further down, this is this is their AFK laboratory. They have a whole bunch of AFK farms in here that you're about to see. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, here we are. Now, they have a, um, this is a uh, guardian farm, and this is where they collect all the prismarine and sea lanterns and stuff. They get sucked up into that, and then, then they get pushed up there, lava, fall and die, and then they collect the stuff. And then over here, they got all their other farms. They have a sugarcane farm, melon, pumpkin farm. Um, they have an iron farm here, which is right here. And they have a couple other things that they built out here. There's a dock. They built some underwater stuff. Like this. Look at that in there. That almost looks like a bee farm. Another bee farm. We have so many bee farms. You know that? Um, what else? That's pretty much it here. I mean, they just got a bunch of farms where they collected a ton of resources here. That's pretty cool. So there's that. Let's go ahead and head on back. And we'll keep going. Alright, we'll keep going here and let's continue down the highway. Now, this goes really far and there is not anything else out here because this is a future planned expansion they're going to do. Uh, in summertime, they're actually going to move their center base and start on a new main base, and it's going to be way down here. I don't know why they went this far out, but um, we're almost there, I'm sure. But I'm surprised they built this whole highway. I mean, this goes really far out. This must have taken tons of materials, tons of materials. I can only imagine. Holy smokes, I didn't know it was this long. Oh my goodness. Okay, here we are. Jeez Louise. Um, this is going to be their new hub for their future expansion base that they're going to do. And uh, here it is. We are all the way at 3.5k. Negative 3.5k nethers. So that's how far away they went. And uh, they don't have anything out here yet. But instead of zooming all the way back down there and wasting everyone's time, I'm just going to go ahead and TP00 just to get right back there. So, here we are. Okay, that is everything down the minus X. Now we will do the one I've been purposely saving for last, which is the minus Z. And this is where all the new 1.18 bases have been built at. And I am going to go over all of them. So let's go ahead and head out, and uh, we'll go ahead and start off. Now, first of all, some of the early bases here are before 1.18. Like, if you go that way, that goes to Neek Land, and I already showed that base off, but if you head down there, that's where that goes. Uh, I will stop over here at this base, though, even though it didn't end up getting very big. This was a build done by a few of Night Hunter's associates. And I'll be honest with you, the only reason I say Night Hunter's associates is because he has like 10 different players who play off and on and I I'm just not keeping track of all of their names I just call them the night haunter associates and this is where they are and uh, this is one of the bases they did this was a jungle base and it looks really nice uh, they got a little ways into it and uh, it's pretty cool, but um, they didn't stick with it for very long. But what they did do looks really nice. It's just this chunk of land right here. And I'm not going to go into detail on all this stuff at here, but I just did want to give you guys a look at it there. So, And they have their nether portal up in the center tree, so that's kind of cool. Alright, let's keep going. Now, those are the only two bases before we get into the big bases uh, down at the 1.18 land. So we're going to go ahead and head on over and we're going to show all that stuff off now. As soon as we get there, we are moving. We are moving. Okay, here we are. This portal right here will go into base camp. This goes to the very first thing that was built. Once 1.18 came out, we made base camp at uh, minus 10,000. Uh, Z minus 10,000, so way to the north. And uh, it's just really basic. We have a basic lodge here. 
got a campfire wheat farm um got a couple horses here this is a map layout of some of the bases that are here that was done by tiktok one and as you can see there's little roads here that go to different bases and we'll get to all of them now this entire road system done with deep slate cobble was all done by um tiktok one he took over the roads uh for this expansion and he did a great job making them so first i guess we're going to go ahead and head out to hauntervania since it's the closest one and it's uh in an opposite direction so if we follow this trail we will head right on over to it and look at this look how the trail like staircases down down through this mountain in here and then gets to a bridge and then it heads right back up like this that's very cool now this is one of the biggest bases right now on the server um all of night haunter and his associates are all building together in one general location so this place is pretty big and you can already see some of the stuff they've made right here they got a lodge um it's lagging a bit hold on there it goes we got a lodge there and they have some plans to make some other houses up here so that's kind of cool when you first show up here, you're greeted by a drawbridge. Look at this, that guards you to the whole outside of the city. And they actually have a button to open and close it. Check this out. It's all redstone. Ah, look at that. Then you can close it. Very cool. Very cool. All right. Uh, another bee farm. Look at that. And they have... A lot of stuff built here this is a big horse pen they got a barn over there they got uh, other houses another that, that's like a chicken coop I guess they have chickens and trees in here um, they have they have all this I, I'm not gonna like describe every single building I'm like getting burned out from this but uh, they have a ton of stuff here I will try and go into detail on some of this now if 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 anyone watching this is a World of Warcraft player you might recognize these two buildings right away that's right it is Lion's Pride Inn and the blacksmith area that are in Elwyn Forest and so um, that here's the blacksmith building and the inside of the inn they actually did a really good job copying it so here it is um, it looks just like it where it's got the staircase going down usually there's some tables and chairs right here but they did get the fireplace nice and they have the back kitchen area they didn't end up doing the basement but that's all right um, the upstairs doesn't isn't like fully completed either but they do have the basic layout of how the rooms were so that's pretty cool. We got like a Lions Pride Inn mock-up here. So that's very, very nice. They did a great job on that. And uh, they just got some castle walls around here. That's just, uh, you know, there's elevated land over here. And this was like a cliff drop-off. And they just smoothed it out with these stone walls. Um, this is like a fortress entrance here. There's really nothing inside there so much. They have uh, more stuff here. This is like a garden area, I guess. Um, and this is more of like a fortress castle area they were working on. And then uh, that, that, that thing, that thing is the Emerald Tower. And I'm not really sure what the inside joke is with that, but it's it's pretty nutso. Uh, they have another bee. More bees. Man, there are so many bee farms. I don't know what the honey's good for. Am I missing something? I don't get it. They have another horse pen here, and this is just a lodge. Uh, just a house that they made. Looks really nice. Um, and then way out there is a lookout tower. There's really nothing else out there. Uh, and then there's more stuff there. Some farms, a house. And then now we will get into the main area of their base here which you can see they got some farms right here and uh if you we'll start on this side i guess this is the main inside of their base inside this mountain cliff here and oh my goodness just look at everything that is going on in here this like almost hurts my eyes there's so much stuff going on in here uh they they give each other gifts a lot which is nice i mean look at the ceiling look at the detail on that they got a christmas tree in here uh that is the cake tower um, you know what? I'm not going to even try to explain most of this stuff. I'm just going to walk around and show it all to you. 
Just absolutely insane. You know, look at the stories. They even, like, color-coded so much stuff. They, you know, they put so much effort into all this. I don't even know where half of this stuff goes, to be honest with you. This just goes down into a mine area. Um, they got a lot of stuff going on in here. This is crazy. Oh, there was a, there was a ritual here. That's strange. Um... Oh, buy tickets now to see Enderman on ice because they got a whole bunch of Endermen trapped in here and they're all on ice. It's pretty cool. Uh, what's what's on the ceiling there? Look at that. They got a bunch of redstone looking stuff. I don't even know what that's for. Uh, this goes back outside. Uh, they got another iron farm right there. Look at that. Uh, I know there was something else around here that, well... This goes up to the top ceiling of the main area, like you can see back down into there. And I didn't even get to everything in there yet. There's just so much going on with this place. Alright, we're up on the higher levels of the inside of this place. They got um, a place for llamas. And they got, like, a house here. Just, I mean, the the... The level of detail these guys go to, the decoration quality is so high. I mean, there's so much stuff going on here that's just so crazy. I mean, look at all this. And there's all that in here. It's very cool. And they got another axolotl farm down there. It's a little aquarium. Oh, and you can see it from here, too. Don't tap on the glass. That makes a lot of sense. Um, we got, this is a cat area, and then they got some farms back in here, and, yeah, this, this place is just so big, so much going on, this is like one of the biggest bases on the server right now. Alright, you cross the street here, and you come on over here, and we got more things, they got stuff on the other side of the cliff, this is their villager area. This is where they do villager trades and stuff. Um, I cannot find... You know what? It's going to be best to go into spectator mode to see everything. Because it's just... It's just crazy everything they have going on in here. There's just so much you could cover that I just can't cover everything. Oh, this is, this is the flex room. They always have one of these. So, here's the flex room for that. And then they got more villager trading stuff. Uh, respiration 3, looting 2. Uh, more in here. So this is this is more modern. They used to just have them scattered everywhere. But now they're actually organizing them. And that's really nice. Uh, I don't remember seeing this room. This is new. But they got some nether wart in here. And an iron golem. And a uh, sugar cane farm. Let's see if I hit everything in here. Um, hmm... Oh, look at this. I, I never saw this room. Wow. Yeah, lots of stuff in here. There's so much going on. I, I could not get into detail on so much of this stuff. They, they have done so much stuff. This place is insane. Just absolutely overload the amount of stuff they've done here. It's so crazy. And then, look at this thing. Look at this behemoth of a tree. Is that not a behemoth of a tree? My goodness. And you know, the tree's not hollow. They got, um, they have a drowned farm in here. This is how they collect drowned. I guess that's how they get their tridents. But they got a bunch of stuff up inside the tree. It's pretty cool. And, and it's just, it's huge. It's huge. It's a massive undertaking what they're working on right now. And they got some farms there. Um, let's see if I missed anything anywhere. That's a little little shed out there. Let's see if I got everything. There's just so much going on here. It's insane. Oh. Oh, and look at this. Uh, they are in the middle of building the dark portal from World of Warcraft right now. So that's that's crazy. Ugh. That's uh, that's gonna be a huge undertaking. I can't wait to see the detail on the statues. You know when they when they do that. Um, but this this is just crazy. What they're working on right now. 
Okay, so that is all of Hauntervania. And as you can see, there's a lot going on. They've built a ton, but let's go ahead and head back to base camp. And we will move on to some of the other great bases that are around. We'll just get back on the trail here. And here we are back at base camp. And we're just going to continue on the trail and we'll go and look at the other stuff. And we're going to take a turn here and we'll head over to Neek Land 2. We're going to go check on that one next. And you just keep following the trail. It's out a little ways, but as long as you follow TikTok 1's trail. All right, here we are. There's a couple tree farms in the sand here. That's nice. And there's her nether portal. Um, they're, they're all linked up via nether portal, but I may just fly to everything overworld. Uh, here's Neekland 2. So it's this isn't as big as Neekland 1 right now, obviously, because um, she hasn't been here for a really long time yet. Uh, but she has a couple nice deep slate houses and spruce. She stuck to a good theme with that. Um, inside, each house offers a little bit of something like... Uh, I don't know what's in there. Um, but she's got she's got some houses here, some shulkers, and there's some stuff in all of them. And uh, this one's got some stuff too. And then under one of these, well, she's got the um she's she has a lot of ice, obviously, because she's in a snow biome and she's creating like an ice skating rink with boats, and it's like a circle. It's like a racetrack kind of. Uh, this is under one of the houses. She has some of her horses and uh, and sheep and uh, a, a mule or a donkey right there. And she made a couple amethyst trees. But, but this right here is the ice castle she's working on right now. And this thing is impressive. Um, wow, seriously. In fact, this all this upper area right here, this is all new. And man, is she doing a good job on that. I mean, just look at the detail in here. The snowflake. Everything. This place is looking so good. So we'll have to see what ends up coming from this. But so far what she's making, it's really excellent. It's really great. And uh, that's all of uh, Neekland 2. And let's see if there's anything underground I missed. Anything serious. Um, she has a little storage down in here. But other than that, that's that. And uh, alright, we're going to move on. Let's take the trails back and we'll head out to the other bases. Just get back on the road here. And I know it's going to going to... I'm going to meet a new road over here. There it is. Alright, we'll take this up and we'll see some of the other bases that are around here. Okay, this twists off to one of our nether portals. And also this road goes all the way to our new end portal, which is out here. If you take this all the way down to the bottom, that goes down to the end portal. So that's our local end portal right there. And um, let's see, here's the road. This goes over to Bald Mountain, and we called it Bald Mountain because this mountain is completely bald. There's no snow on it because it's one of those uh, tropical mountains. It's a jungle mountain. Um, this was my original first base, but I ended up moving, uh, but inside here I do have a little stuff in here, but I mean, I had a huge cave face in here, like I could have built a ton of stuff in here, and I have a couple storage posts in here. Also, uh, if you head down here, which it's all linked up via a road system, but if you come all the way down here, this will go to my um, villager trading hall which I ended up making one and you can see I got farms here that I built and then down here this is my uh, villager breeder and trading hall and this is where I can get all my stuff really cheap and easy so there's all that and I got all that taken care of and uh, that's all that's here in Bald Mountain so we'll zoom back out and we'll keep heading on uh, the next one we'll stop to over here is um, Galapagos Tigers area. Um, this is his new area that he worked on for 1.18. He's got a couple farms here. He, he, he stuck to like a theme of a wild jungle vibe. 
Uh, and he has some stuff down here. He has these like little tent, tent hunts made, or huts made out of grass and moss. And that's pretty cool. Man, I am starting to lose my voice from all this talking. Oh my goodness. Uh, if you take this thing down, it goes all the way down to his current base he's working on. Which, look at this. He's going, he's making a giant ring right now. And this is going to be his main base that he's now working on underground. So he's got that going on. That's pretty cool. And uh, let's head over to TikTok 1 and Scry's base. This is what they are currently working on for 1.18. This is also one of the bigger bases. Here we are. And look at that. That is a steampunk island. Just look at that thing. Very chaotic, but very steampunk at the same time. They did a floating island just like Galapagos Tiger did for his floating islands. They have so many farms in here, it's insane. And their level of detail, again, again, the level of detail they did is just so insane. All the blocks they used, all the decoration. I mean, look at this in here. This is great. They did so much. They got Woosh Destroyer of Worlds. That's their axolotl. And they, uh, they have bridges linking everything. Uh, this is the steampunk island right there. This is going to be an iron farm, I think. So they're working on that. This right here is another farm. I believe this is the sugarcane farm, if I'm not mistaken. I think it is if you go inside there. Let's check it out. Yes, yes, this is the sugarcane farm there. I need to go into spectator for some of this. Um, they have... This is a melon and pumpkin farm they got going on right there. Uh, this looking wizard tower right here is a cobblestone generator using a TNT duper. So that's very cool. And then this is an observatory. So you got the telescope right there. And inside here this is uh, the, his trading hall. This is TikTok One's trading hall. And he's got all of his different librarians. And then under the floor here is his actual breeder down here. So they got they got that going on. And that's real nice. Um, let's see. Over here this is a uh, automatic tree farm. Which I think uses TNT to blow up the trunks. Or either there or it pushes the logs and they fall. I'm not sure how it all works. But it's quite complicated. They worked really hard on it. Um, down here, you may notice this weird looking tree. This is just a weird looking tree. They haven't done anything with it yet. Um, where is, oh, here's the moss farm. If you go in here, this is, um, they can generate moss. So they got one of those, unlimited moss. That's very cool. Over here is their lava bucket generator. This is where they can get fuel for their furnaces. And they got all their lava here being dripped from the uh, dripstone now since lava is completely renewable resource. And then um, they got a bunch of floating nether portals. So that's pretty cool. They got some wheat farms. Uh, a mushroom house. Multiple mushroom houses. And... And that's, that's it for the most part, but you know what's crazy about this is they took two cliffs like this and they ended up making their base out of this. It's just insane what they've ended up doing. Yeah, well, um, that's about it. I think I hit everything. I think I hit everything important. And uh, as you can see, we've done a lot of stuff out here. I mean, I guess I can go into the uh, steampunk house a little bit. I really didn't do that. The upper part doesn't really have anything in it. Um, it's just really chaotic. But inside the actual um, island here, you he has his chest storage set up here. So we got all that. But yeah, they've, they've done an incredible job on this space. And it's been very nice. And that wraps up our video today. So... Uh, I have officially lost my voice. My throat hurts really bad. And uh, that's about it. So thank you for watching. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video.